Hello everyone, everyone. Good, good morning, morning. and welcome to my class. My name is Nena my name Alice, Alice Kalu, Alice Kalu with, the brand with the brand name, name Nelly Mininary. Okay, welcome to Nelly Mininary Academy, the channel that I'm teaching free, um, free headways on latest designs of fascinators and other type of leather. So today we'll be talking about some um, how to block a soft skin leather like i mentioned on my facebook wall i mentioned the types of leather uh and the types of skin leather please go back go to my wall on facebook nena alice carlo um you read up place now what i'm trying to do now is to mention the types of leather this is an example of a skin thick or hard skin leather Okay, the green color is an example of Haskell leather. This one is another type of leather. This is not a skin leather, please. This is not a skin leather. Okay, now, okay, now you, you, you we don't make use of this for fascinators because it does not have the, uh, the quality for making uh, headways. Now, this is what I'm going to use. It's a uh, it's soft skin leather. Okay. And um, it's stretchy. Please. Very soft and stretchy. So in case you are buying yours. So take note of that. Now the materials we are going to use for this course is uh, the tongue tag, stiffener. I'm not adding water to the stiffener. Please note that this is a blocking mat. So I don't need to add water. Remember the previous class I mentioned it. Okay. So go back to the previous class and watch the video. Now, um, already, I've already covered the mold, so I don't need to, for beginners, please, I don't need to go back, watch the previous video, you see how to cover the mold with a blocking fabric. Now, I'm using molding mats, okay, for this. Is that taken? Now, what I'm trying to do now is to apply stiffener on the covered mold, okay? Now, I, if you check very well, the, the, the stiffener is very thick no water was added now the reason why is this um you, for it to block properly on the uh, listen for um you don't need to add water okay um blocking fabric like a uh, wadding um mats you don't add water to the stiffener when you are blocking them is that taken this is not cinnamon please that you have to add um a, a, some proportions um, water so the, to the stiffener so that it will blend very well is that taken now what I'm trying to do is to apply vigorously oh, sorry apply stiffener vigorously on the mats okay so that um, um, before I covered with my leather is that taken now ensure that you you, you you apply vigorously on the front then you go to the back at the back at the edge you need the edge is that taken so watch closely and see how i applied mine now the next step is to take the soft skin leather soft skin leather please take note and um, you can use any other skin leather please not only soft and uh, not only soft skin leather you can use the hard leather okay for blocking is that taken now cover you don't need to dip the fabric into water before you cover please take notes just like we did in the previous class you don't dip the net or the lace into the water first before it will stick to the blocking fabric is that taken so just go ahead and take your uh, your fabric and covered and uh, cover on the blocking fabric the stiffen blocking fabric now what i did here is uh, i didn't measure first you can measure the mold first and cut out the fabric is that taken now the next step is to hold down with our thumbtacks now please take note of something here i'm going to i'm going to use uh, the four cardinal point first before i start uh whole, um pinning the other parts the four cardinal points hold down the north south east and west remember please take notes then once you must also note, note take also note the take notice this um this is leather and not fab uh, not, um 
um cinnamon no fabric please you see the top or the front let me use the word front you don't pin leathers are totally different from other fabrics what do i mean now by the time you pin you see that point that's a part i'm pointing by the time you create hold there to hold down the, uh, the leather to the mold okay we do that because of shifting sake is going to affect the leather there will be hole created at that center or at the top is that taken and that hole will be permanent so don't pin the top did you understand don't pin the top just pin only the underneath is that taken so so what i'm trying to do now i've pinned the four cardinal points and i'm not pinning the rest is that taken so watch the video is self is self-explanatory okay it's not uh, difficult so straightforward so thank you very much see that i'm done see how neatly i pin and see how the top is now the next step you're going to do is to take your a piece of a rag or piece of clothes now wet the piece of clothes and clean why do we clean to remove any trace of stiffener okay so that we will not have a, um, a stain when it dried is that taking clean very well clean very well so that at the end you have a a very neat uh, outcome is that taken so thank you very much so i'm done cleaning okay watch how i'm going to design the next stage is how to design this blocked leather take it to the sun please for it to sun dry okay thank you very much